International bank account numbers have a checksum. Here's an example for German IBAN. This checksum is computed from the three other ingredients, but how do we do that? So first of all, we move country and checksum to the very right and replace the D with a 13 and an E with a 14. And then the checksum is replaced with 00, zero because we don't know it prior to computation, right? Then we take this long 24 digit number and compute mod 97, giving us a number between 0 and 96, in our case 11. And then we subtract that from 98, giving us 87, the desired checksum. Okay, and we can compute that in Java. Um, here's the <laughs> Java code. We take our bank letter and conto number and the last two ingredients and concat concatenate them into a new string of length 24. Then we compute that or convert that into a big integer and compute mod 97. And of course, we would expect this mod to take quite a bit of time. So what are the alternatives? So if we don't want to compute a new string, how can we concatenate these numbers into one number? Well, in the um, integer realm, we will say, well, let's take the first number times 10 to the power of 16, because 16 additional digits are left, uh, plus this number times 10 to the 6, because 6 additional digits are left, and then this number. You can see these multiplications right here in the code. But unfortunately, uh, the very first multiplication already overflows because um, we would need 24 digits, but long barely has 19 digits. So this approach doesn't work at first glance. But here's the important insight. If we're going to do a mod 97 anyway, we can perform the mod 97 on these powers of 10 uh, as well, and even the last uh, number here. So you can see here's an additional mod 97, and here, and here. So here are our additional mod 97s. Then the um, numbers are much smaller, and then we get a sensible result for the final mod and the final result. And this is about nine times faster. Not that it really matters, but I think it's a nice side effect. Okay, um, so we can do it without big integer. Now the next question is, can we do it without the long data type? Maybe your processor doesn't have a long data type. <laughs> Maybe you want to do it in 32 bits instead of 64. Then we have a huge problem because um, this number is too big for int. And even before the multiplication, just passing the conto number will already overflow in about 80% of the cases. Okay, so the next insight is to say, well, instead of taking the whole number and multiply it with appropriate powers of 10 mod 97, let's do it for all individual digits. For example, 10 uh, to the power of 23 mod 97 would be the 56, and 10 to the 22 would be um, 25, and so on. And then the resulting numbers are much, much smaller. They easily fit into an int. They would even fit into a 16-bit short. So could we do it without multiplication and division? Yes, <laughs> we could replace these multiplications with lookup tables. So the 56 and the 25 and the 51, try to remember these three values, are just um, one column in a bigger lookup table. So this means uh, 1 times 10 to the 23 mod 97 is 56. Uh, 9 times 10 to the 23 mod 97 is 19. And for example, um, uh, 9 times 10 to the 6 mod 97 would be 49. Right? So just all relevant combinations. And then the multiplication turns into a lookup, which you can see here. Okay, and then the intermediate results are even smaller. And what do we do with the mod or the division? Since the resulting numbers are so small, they are guaranteed to be below 16 times 97. We could perform somewhat of a binary search, finding out where in this space of uh, 0 to 15 times 97 we are, and then correcting or projecting into our mod 97 space in four steps. Okay, so we're down to 32 or even 16 bits. Can we do it in 8 bits um, if, you're, if you have a really old computer? Yes, you can. So let's start with the 62. Then we add onto the rest the next 
looked up value and sooner or later, maybe every second uh, operation or so, we're going to overflow into the negative number. So byte is constrained to a plus 127. If we exceed that, we simply project back into the correct space. We do that after every add and we will always then stay below 127 and then we need one final adjustment. Um, so feel free to implement this on a 6502 processor, for example, then Futurama's Bender could compute it or even um, Arnold Schwarzenegger in Terminator 1. <laughs>